Hello and welcome to Bend the Knee, a Song of Ice and Fire podcast. I am Sir Matt the Bud Knight. And I am Sir Jimmy of House Nuts. And did we just wrap up a mid-season climax or what? Whoa, my friend. Yeah, wow. Talk about a absolutely just massive massive episode there were some changes to fire and blood a little bit the preview for next week is going to be absolutely insane (laughs) there was a little bit of action but a lot of drama in this episode very heavy yeah the dialogue uh continued from last week i even said after last week you know i was i was very very high on the episode and this week i said i really am excited to build on that and i hope that even with all the crazy stuff that's going to happen because the prologue's kind of come to a conclusion now like the prologue's over i think you know we have our one big time jump i think we're going to settle down a little bit and we're going to see a lot more episodes like this in last week so the fact that they've proven that they can execute these is a really good sign and uh I mean, this was the episode of Kristen Cole, was it not? Absolutely. You know, with this episode, one of the cool things about this was like last week, you know, Damon was obviously amazing in that episode and Rhaenyra is always great and she's been a mainstay and kind of the centerpiece of the show. But I feel like we got to see a lot more from Kristen and some of the other actors, like even Jason Lannister's little shithead moment was fantastic, I thought. Um Just, you know, he takes a dig as soon as he walks up. There was no better man for me than Lanor. And then he gets back, yeah. you know, you know, this is why, you know, women would be late to the battle or whatever he said. Yeah. You know, it's I feel like, like they're doing such a good job just initially of being like, all right, you can hate on the Lannisters in this show. Yeah. And they're also showing that there is some like doubts about a woman being queen. Like these are subtle right. digs. And really, you know, Sarah should be saying something at that point, you know, bite your tongue, go sit down kind of deal. But he doesn't. And uh, Viserys, unfortunately, looks weaker than ever. And uh, is very, very sick and collapses at the end of the episode. Do we see Viserys alive again, do you think, in the show? Well, we see him next episode. I didn't watch the... the, I didn't watch... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you didn't watch the trailer for next week. No, I don't don't watch Uh, the trailers usually. He's in next week. In today's episode, there were two things that are told to us in Fire and Blood and World of Ice and Fire and all all the other histories and everything that... Man, they changed a little bit and they expanded upon one. I almost made a YouTube short and TikTok for, but I didn't want to because I was like, it's going to be spoileries. I didn't know how they were going to do it. So in Fire and Blood, all it says is that Rhea Royce, right? The the bronze bitch, as Damon calls it, is hurt in an accident hawking. And then it says that Damon goes to her and is like distraught over the event. And I believe I sent it to you, Jimmy, in our like little Facebook group chat a few days ago. And I was like, oh, he's totally going to kill her. Now, what I thought was going to happen was I actually thought she was just going to be injured. And then like she's in a bed. He gets there and I thought he was going to like slit her throat. Yeah, I I think I didn't know that he was going to go that way about it. Yeah, I was kind of surprised they didn't show it just because I thought, well, here's an opportunity for them to show. Well, I just shit. I didn't even think he was going to be the one involved. I thought she was like going. I thought they were going to play it as she gets injured. And then he goes to her and like, you know, puts a pillow on her face or something. I didn't know he was going to be the one to be like, no, I'm going to cause her to fall off her horse. Yeah. So in the book, in the book, she falls off the horse is in bed and then she's treated and she's up for like an hour and then just dies. Right. Um, and I, th- I think Damon goes to her after the death is pronounced. I think. Huh. Okay. So this is a pretty big, ch- I mean, like he literally right. is Mr. Mystery guy in a hood on the road and then bashes her skull. In. <laughs> it's like, damn Damon. And you know, you know, I know this isn't the Damon episode per se, but man, even the little bit of screen time that Matt Smith gets, he capitalizes on it and really just oh, good. like him just coming in late was so awkward. Like I felt awkward in the moment and that's exactly what they wanted to convey. And they got to pull up a chair for him. Like it was almost humorous. Um, and then when he's yeah. talking to Rainier in the middle of the crowd and grabs her face and Jahar- or, yeah, I'm going to say Jaharis. Wish it was Jerry's Viserys is like staring and he's like half he's half shit cocked because he's so sick. And it's just yeah. like, I don't know, man. Damon's awesome. And every time I talk in Valyrian, I'm just like, this is the best. It's so good. <laughs> the writing, it. the die, like the writing for the dialogue of this is is it's just back. To, it's Game of Thrones. I mean, it's there's there's not many other shows that I even feel like come close to the writing of 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 these shows. The die, It's just so good. Like the mm-hmm. tension 
you feel the tension it, all around. And like this, they're still doing, I said this during the, during when I was, I was doing the live. I, I liked what I saw with Otto Hightower there at the beginning where he's talking to Allison. And even though, you know, like we, like we know, because you can just view the show and everything. I feel like if you're maybe a first time watcher, there's still a little bit of maybe Otto at least the way it's sort of perceived comes across as sort of like he is actually, he, he does have a legitimate point in his idea of like, if the realm doesn't like this, it could cause a war. Yeah. And, and seeing, that could be really bad. Yeah. And seeing Otto's motivations laid out flat for us for the first time, you know, now in, right. in episode five and like he has somewhat of a point. I don't know if I agree with all of his methods, uh, you know, of sending his daughter in with his, dead wife's dress on and everything but uh i i he foresees an issue and he's saying why rock the boat right um, feels better than prime game of thrones in terms of core acting quality of the dialogue and the subtext wow i mean that's high praise for sure i mean i would say it's on par um for sure and yeah, yeah i thought the conversations were really good rhaenyra is such a good character uh i really loved and also hated her conversation with Kristen cole on the boat i thought oh by the way was your audio a little bit weird for that conversation like i felt like the mm -hmm, audio maybe i don't know sometimes uh on the debut when i watch it back it's always fine but when i first watch it sometimes it messes up i felt like the ocean sounds were like not mixed properly oh, i thought that was a little weird but I uh, watch it. I watch it on my computer with headphones. So, you know, sometimes going through TVs and who knows. That's fair. Um, I thought that conversation was so ice cold, though. Like when she says, yeah. I am the crown. Yeah. And uh, th that that was that was heartbreaking. And it's amazing that in five episodes, the range that we've gotten from all the characters. And I feel very sympathetic towards Allison. And my wife is sitting next to me on the couch and she's like, I think she's kind of being a jerk. Like she kind of sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, but she, you know, Rhaenyra lied. She's like, I don't know. I don't like her. Right. <laughs> yeah. If if Rhaenyra, if the actress Millie Alcock weren't so just amazing at this, I feel like you might still be on see like each side's viewpoint, right? Like Game of Thrones. Here's like the big difference between the two is Game of Thrones. It's very obvious from the get go that the Starks are good and the Lannisters are bad, right? Yeah. Like when they push, they push Bran out the window episode one. So you're like, they're bad. Then you get Tyrion and it's kind of like, okay, well maybe the Lannisters aren't all bad. And then as you get further, you begin to kind of see everybody's sides. And it's like here, I feel like there's still kind of moments where I feel like you could see like, okay, well maybe like the high towers aren't all bad. Right. <laughs> yes. You know, like there's definitely moments. And then like Damon is at least like a wild card. So you're, so you see him do sort of, you know, he goes and kills his wife, but we're still rooting for him because Matt Smith's just so amazing. As an actor <laughs> that it's just like, you're just so enamored by his performance that we still are, you know, rooting for him. Right. And so it's, it's just so wild that, it, that that's, that that's the case. Um, I felt like this episode, Allison was, this is where she kind of begins now the auto leaves and she's operating on her own. This is where she begins to sort of play the game of Thrones. Yes. She's now beginning to play that another big change was i mean it still happens the same way but in fire and blood or at least on the wiki which in the world of ice and fire it said that joffrey lawnmouth is killed in the tourney by Kristen cole so they definitely at least yeah. changed that uh for this episode man chris Cole, he's now we like we we get a lot more of him because in the in the histories and everything he's just kind of there and you know he don't want to spoil too much but we already kind of saw that he's already shifted sh sides now from Rhaenyra to Alicent yes. and that will be the case but man he's like kind of crazy dude I felt my heart <laughs> dropping with anticipation whenever he was confessing to the queen like I knew it was coming and I was like oh god this is gonna suck this is gonna suck and you know it just made my heart drop a bit but Sir Christopher Cole is like in a lot of ways like the saddest case in all of this just for the sole fact that like He's someone that got lifted up to this status and thought it was going to be amazing. It's like when you get a promotion at work and you're like, this new spot's going to be sick. And like day one, they're like, so here's six months of backlog that the other guy didn't do. And you're like, yeah, 
shit. And it feels like Sir Kristen Cole is so pure. <laughs> he just wants to run away with Rhaenyra. You know, he's the he, knight in shining armor of, of the show. He's, that, he's, he's Lancelot. And yes, and, and he even and, looks, I mean, he even looks like like a Lancelot type. Like if you can if you did legend Arthur, type guy. Yeah. yeah. If you did King Arthur, if you did a King Arthur movie and you're like, he's going to play Lancelot, you'd be like 100%. Looks just like, you know. I feel like it's it's sad because this episode you see him basically descent in he he like sinks to the level right and then kills this guy with his bare hands. So not only have we seen his honor be lost, we see his heart be broken, and then we see her, him, I mean, murder someone in cold blood essentially. Yeah, um, and that's totally different. Now in Fire and Blood, and you know in the histories, if you do it at a tournament, then it's one thing. Yeah. Okay. You know, that sucks, whatever. But to have it happen at the wedding in front of everyone now, like everyone has to look at this guy as kind of crazy. I mean, yeah. Yeah. And how will that be kind of perceived whenever sides are drawn? And also, I, I really like the subtlety. You know, obviously, the Lannisters are not cool with Rhaenyra uh, because they didn't get her hand. We have Old Town come up, say, hey, Allison, we're with you. We see the, str the Strongs having some unspoken coordination. Like, hey, go get yeah. her. It's a little, a little interesting, mm -hmm. and uh, we know the Vale is not a fan of the Targaryens right now because of Daemon. Um, so it's just, I don't know. It'll be cool to see how all those things shake out in the future episodes, I think.